Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Tom Spark. Welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to answer the question, should you use your VPN while gaming? Can a VPN negatively impact your speeds? Um, you know, this could be a question for people wondering, you know, if I use a VPN to unblock certain game betas, is it going to be worth the cost and speeds? Um, for people who might want to just keep their VPN on all the time, is it going to impact their speeds while gaming? Um, can it improve speeds? Well, most likely not. Sometimes you can't connect to a server closer by and sometimes with ping and stuff like that, there can be interesting things going on. But generally overall, adding a VPN should decrease your speeds a little bit uh, because it's like uh, you're connecting to a remote server and it's just adding an, an, another middle man. That said, if you pick the right VPN, you pick a server close by your real world location, you should actually minimize your speed loss, uh, your ping increase, and you won't impact your speeds that much. And that's what we're going to be showing you today, guys. We're going to be connecting to TorGuard VPN. You're in the channel. That's my top rated VPN. And it's also the fastest one for me. I could get anywhere around 850 megabits per second with TorGuard VPN, even faster than NordVPN and some of the other big boys out there. We're going to be showing you a speed test here right now just to show you what kind of speed we can get with TorGuard um, in terms of download and stuff like that, as well as the ping. So guys, if you want to check out TorGuard, this is not a sponsored video, by the way. Um, you can use code TOMSPARK2023. You should be able to get a discount on pretty much everything there. Um, or if you don't like TorGuard, check out some other VPNs. Just like I said, for me personally, this is the fastest one I've tested. And it's got a good combination of servers too around the world. Around 50, I think, locations for most people is what they have. So as you can see here, we're getting really good speeds. Um, we're getting around 6 MS. Um, so what we're going to do is disconnect here. And we're going to see, you know, if that goes down, what kind of ping latency we should expect while gaming. Anyways, guys, as you can see here, without the VPN on, you can see we disconnected. We're getting around 3 ping or 3 MS. Anything below, I would say 50 is really good. Anywhere between 50 to 100 is usable. Anywhere from 100 to 200, you're probably going to start feeling the lag. So for me, there's not really any issues. It might double your ping. Let's say you have 50 ping and it goes to 100. Maybe you have 30 ping and it goes to 60. Kind of depends on your speeds. But in honesty, it's not a big deal to leave the VPN on. Is it going to increase your stuff? Not really. But if you leave it on, it's not going to impact you too much, especially if you have fast internet speeds like mine and you're using something good like TorGuard that uses WireGuard and fast servers. As you can see, we are connected to TorGuard right now and we are on Fortnite. Um, as you can see right now, we're getting around 29 ping, which is perfectly usable. You're not really going to be able to tell there's any ping at all, um, really. So let's go ahead and see if we can get some kills. Notice if we see any packet loss or anything like that. As you can see on the top there, um, we're getting 32 ping right now. 0% uh, packet loss. I would expect actually without a VPN on, I would be getting similar performance. So that could be an answer right there. Should you use a VPN while gaming? You know, is it going to affect your ping? Well, if you pick the right one, not too much. VPNs nowadays have gotten pretty fast, especially with the advent of WireGuard. So that's a pretty good thing. Don't mind the top. I'm just uh, doing some AI images. Anyways, guys, we're coming down here fast. And I'm going to have to turn up the volume or I'm going to get killed. All right, guys, let's do this. What I like to do in this game is usually get a car and run people over because that's the best way to survive in the beginning and no one ever sees it coming. One of my strategies I like doing is kind of sitting in a car, waiting for people to come by and then absolutely just wrecking them by running them over. Sometimes people won't notice that you're in the car and it will be very easy to run them over. Sometimes they'll notice you're in the car and they'll try to uh, kind of mess with you a bit. This is a good example here. Right here. Let's see if we can get this guy. Give a good boost. Bow! I do believe I hit him. And we got another guy right here. Let's see if we can get this guy. Looks like we might. Oh, another car got in the way. Things are getting hot. This guy right here wants a piece of it. Boom! All right. Here we go. Here we go. He's trying to sneak in between. Oh, we missed him. We're going to have to go and fight back those other people. Looks like we're getting third party here from these people. We might be able to hit the tomato guy. Looks like he did manage a successful jump over the car. We're going to be trying to back up here. Out of fuel. You got to be kidding me. We're going to be trying to get on top of the house. We're getting shot. We're getting shot. Get on top of the house. Can't get on. We're getting chased. All right. This is probably going to be the end of us, boys. Trying to dodge. Trying to dodge. We got another car. All right. Let's go get him again. Where did they go? Where did they go? There he is. 
Coming around. Oh, I missed. Oh, okay, I got 90 on him there. Oh, he's in the car. That's not good. Oh, got a gun. Whoa. Got back in the car. Uh, nice, 38. Going pretty good. Oh, not too bad. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video, and I'll see you again very soon in the next one.